Known as one of America's most liberal campuses, UC Berkeley. A war zone over conservative speaker Milo Yiannopoulos' appearance here. A mob set fire to campus lights, Milo's name melting. The president Yiannopoulos supports also a target here, notable because Yiannopoulos worked for now White House chief strategist Steve Bannon at Breitbart. Anger unleashed on Trump supporters. This woman pepper sprayed during a local TV interview. She, along with at least five others, were injured. This wounded man, who a witness says was wearing a Trump hat, pulled out of the violent crowd by police in riot gear. Shelly Monroe came to see Yiannopoulos speak. It's totally disrespectful. We came here to listen. Really? Embarrassment. You see Berkeley should be embarrassed. That sentiment echoed by Yiannopoulos. This is the levels to which leftist activism has sunk in panic. A provocative far-right speaker. Protesters call the Breitbart editor's nationwide campus talks hate speech targeting feminists, transgender people, and Muslims. Police evacuating him from his own speaking event due to the violence. Yiannopoulos calling the violent protest hypocritical in a YouTube post. They won't allow students to listen to differing points of view. They're absolutely petrified by alternative visions of how the world ought to look. And people with arguments and fact and reason that don't conform to the crazy social justice left vision of the universe. President Trump weighing in with a funding threat, tweeting, if UC Berkeley does not allow free speech and practices violence, no federal funds? The Berkeley College Republicans who invited Yiannopoulos say they're disgusted but not surprised by the violence. That just underscores what we already know uh, to, to be, what we know to be here at UC Berkeley, and that is it's a very intolerant, progressive, left-wing culture that is not uh, hospitable to conservative students. UC Berkeley says of the 1,500 protesters, it was only a small group of non-students, 150 outside agitators who led the violence, and says the regrets of violence overshadowed a legitimate and lawful protest by students. No hate, no fear, immigrants are welcome here. We saw it ourselves. Before the protesters in black arrived, Cal students were overwhelmingly peaceful. But the violence far spoiled what students wanted. I don't support Trump either, but I think that it allows it allows the people on the right to say, "Oh, look at all these Berkeley liberal snowflakes, and they're they're going out and not they're just as intolerant of speech uh, as as we are." A microcosm of a divided nation, driven even further apart. That tells me that they're hypocrites. This is being tolerated. This behavior is being tolerated. This is why Trump's the president. 2020 re-election. 